Thomas's farm and said, Oh, look at that! We're stuck! But Thomas whistled. Here we are! Here we are! The snow was so deep round the house that the answer came from the upstairs window and Mrs Kindly leaned out, waving her red dressing gown again. But this time she said, Hello! Hello! How kind of you to come! Then Thomas heard a familiar noise from behind the cottage. Hello, Thomas. We'll help you. And Thomas said, Oh, that's Terence. That's Terence the tractor. He's come to help too. And sure enough, Terence also had a snowplow and was working hard to clear the road to the house. The two parties met to make a plan. Terence's gang promised to clear the snow from round the house, while the railway gang dug a path from the house to the line. Meanwhile, at Tidmouth, Henriette was being swept, dusted and decorated as never before. She felt very proud of herself. And when she was ready, Percy, who had also been given a snowplough, took her to Ellsbridge to wait for Thomas and Toby. Presently, Thomas and Toby arrived. They had a good rest and a clean up, and then scampered up the line with Henrietta to fetch Mr and Mrs Kindly, while Percy took the workmen back to Tidmouth in their van. It was dark when they finally reached Tidmouth. The shed doors were shut, there was dead silence, and there was no one about. Thomas and Toby whistled. Where is everybody? Yes, where is everybody? But all of a sudden, there was a chorus of whistles and cheers from the shed. Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! (whistles) And the lights in the yard flashed on and the shed doors opened and there were letters hanging in lights in the shed that said Merry Christmas! Sir Topham and Lady Hat welcomed Mr and Mrs Kindly and everyone gave them three cheers and Mrs Kindly asked at once, Oh, can I please see the engines? Please, Sir Topham? Gordon, Henry and Edward were very pleased. We're honoured. Yes, honoured. Oh, yes, honoured. Then Mrs Kindly especially thanked the smaller engines, and she said, Thomas and Toby are old friends. And now, Percy, you are my friend too. Percy was so pleased that he bubbled over. Oh, I say, three cheers for Mrs Kindly. Hip, hip. (whistles) Hip, hip. (whistles) Hip, hip. (whistles) The fat controller held his ears, but everyone else laughed and joined in. Meanwhile... The Christmas tree had been rolled into position, ready for the carol singing to begin. They sang all their old favourites, and then they had hot coffee and mince pies, and they pulled crackers and played games, and they had a splendid time, till all too soon it was time for the party to end. The fat controller climbed up on a box, and he said, Ahem! Ladies, gentlemen and engines! We are here to honour a gracious lady who last Christmas did our railway a great service. We all hope, Mrs Kindly, that you'll accept this free travel pass over our railway. May you have long life and good health to enjoy it. Then everybody cheered again and everyone sang for she's a jolly good fellow and the engines whistled and Sir Topham and Lady Hat took Mr and Mrs Kindly away to stay with them at Wellsworth till the weather improved. The last guest left, 
and the doors of the shed were closed and the engines were on their own. Edward said, Oh, what a lovely party. Thank you, Thomas, Toby and Percy. Gordon was still humming, And so say all of us, And so say all of us, <laughs> but no one finished the song. Tired and happy, they were all fast asleep.